Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about the basic properties of logarithm. So let b, x, and y be real numbers such that b is greater than 0 and b is not equals to positive 1. So the basic properties and laws of logarithms are as follows. So number 1, we have the logarithm of b with base b is equals to positive 1. So, dito guys, uh, pag nakita nyo na yung ating number dito is parehas ng ating base. Okay? So, pag in-evaluate natin yon, ang sagot natin doon ay positive 1. Nakuha? So, example, we have the logarithm of 3 with base 3. So, since parehas yung ating number doon sa base, so, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin dyan is positive 1. Okay? Next, we have the logarithm of 11, 11 with base 11, so that is also equals to positive 1. Okay, next, we have the logarithm of 1 with base b is equals to 0. So, dito naman guys, pag yung number natin, dito sa ating logarithm is 1, so any base tayo dito na greater than 0, ang sagot natin dyan guys ay 0. Okay, so example, we have the logarithm of 1 with base 3. So since 1 yung ating number, ibig sabihin, 0 yung sagot natin dito. Okay, so next, we have the logarithm of 1 with base 9. So that is also equals to 0. Naintindihan? Next, next property natin, we have uh, B raised to logarithm of x with base b, ang equals daw natin dyan, o ang sagot daw natin dyan ay yung x. Okay? Yung number sa ating logarithm. So, as you can see, meron tayong base dito. Tapos, ang kanyang exponent ay logarithm with same base. Okay? So, ang sagot natin dito is yung x. Nakuha? So, example. We have the 5 raised to logarithm of 10 with base 5. Since parehas yung base ng ating logarithm dun sa exponent, dito sa ating base, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin is yung positive 10. Okay? Another example, we have uh, 2 raised to logarithm of 5 with base 2. So again, parehas na naman yung dalawang base. So ang sagot natin dito is yung positive 5. Nakuha guys? So, last property natin is the logarithm of b raised to x with base b is equals to x. Ibig sabihin, pagka yung number natin dito, okay, which is an, may exponent, di ba? So, pagka yung base daw natin dito, dun sa ating number, is same doon sa base ng ating uh, logarithm, Ang sagot natin dyan is yung ating exponent dito, which is x. Okay? So, example, we have the logarithm of 2 raised to 4 with base 2. So, as you can see, parehas yung base natin dito sa ating number, which is 2, doon sa base ng ating logarithm. So, ang sagot natin is positive 4. Nakuha, guys? So, another example, we have the logarithm of 7 raised to 2 with base 7. So, again, parehas 7 yung ating bases. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin is positive 2. Okay, so ito na ngayon guys, yung 4 properties ng ating logarithm. Nakuha? So, let's proceed to our examples. So, now let us use the properties of logarithms to evaluate the following. So, number 1, uh, we have logarithm of 2 with base 2. Okay? So, since parehas yung ating uh, number dito sa ating base, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin dito guys is positive 1. Tama? Next, number 2, we have 9 raised to logarithm of 6 with base 9. So, dito, yung base natin is positive 9. Tapos, dun sa ating exponent, merong base na positive 9 din. 
Ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin dito is yung 6. Nakuha? Next, number 3, we have the logarithm of 1 with base 9. So, dito guys, yung number natin is 1. So, any base yung ilagay natin doon sa ating logarithm, ang sagot natin dito guys ay 0. Okay? So, number 4, uh, we have 4 times the logarithm of 8 with base 8. So, again, parehas na naman yung number natin dito doon sa ating base uh, ng ating logarithm. So, that means that is equals to positive 1. Tama? Then, may 4 tayo sa labas. So, that is 4 times the logarithm of 8 with base 8. That is 1. So, 4 times 1, ang sagot natin is positive 4. Nakuha, guys? Next, number seven, uh, number 5, we have 7 raised to logarithm of 10 with base 7. So, ang base natin is positive 7. Doon sa ating exponent, yung logarithm natin is meron ding base na 7. Ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin ay positive 10. Okay? Next, number 6, we have the logarithm of 1 with base m. So, again, ang number natin is 1. So, any base naman tayo dyan, ang sagot ng ating logarithm ay 0. According doon sa ating property. Tama? Next, number 7, we have the logarithm of C with base C. So, that is equals to positive 1. Tama? Minus, we have uh, 2 raised to logarithm of 19 with base 2. So, Yung base natin dito is parehas dun sa base dun ng ating logarithm sa ating exponent. Ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin dyan ay 19. Tama? Then, 1 minus 19, that is equals to negative 18. Okay? Next, number 8, we have the logarithm of 1 with base 13. So, ang number natin is 1. That means we have 0 plus... The logarithm of 5 raised to 2 with base 5. Okay, parehas na naman yung ating bases. Ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin ay 2. Then, 0 plus 2, this equals to positive 2. Okay, next, number 9. We have uh, 7 raised to logarithm of 10 with base 7. So, parehas na naman yung ating bases. So, ang sagot natin ay positive 10. Plus, 10 times the logarithm of 5 with base 5. So, parehas yung dalawang base. Ang sagot natin dito ay 1. Tama? Then, 10 times 1, that's 10 plus 10. So, ang sagot natin guys ay 20. Nasundan? Next, number 10, we have a logarithm of 5 with base 5. So, that is equivalent to positive 1. Minus 2 raised to logarithm of 9 with base 2. So again, same yung ating bases. So ang sagot natin dyan ay positive 9. Then 1 minus 9, this is negative 8. Nakuha guys? So this is the end of our video. I hope naintindihan nyo kung paano ba natin ina-apply yung different properties ng ating logarithm. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!